Okay, I just want to tell you guys. Okay, I just shut it off. I second time I actually shut it off, but because I have to be here now because it started doing this, and I wonder if it's because there's no pressure on the cooling system when there's pretty good when there's actually quite a bit of cooling in there. It, it was running for like five minutes. Been keeping an eye on it, ten minutes almost. Temperature gauge was still pegged on cold. And then it just started randomly rising to about right there. Kind of quickly, but and then it stopped a bit, but I did shut it off. But yeah, it's, it never did that before. So I don't know. But I'll start it up here. And it did a little out of like quick real quicker than it usually does, but let's see if it <coughs> there it goes, it's starting to move. <coughs> it's moving quite slowly, but it's still moving up kind of quick. But yeah, that's why I have to keep my eye on it. So it doesn't keep moving up like that. Alright. See if it blows any smoke. Oh, it didn't blow smoke that time. Oh, well. Not the engine it did. Well. Or out the exhaust leak. But not out the exhaust. So, yeah. <laughs> But it still runs pretty good though. It runs real good. Oh, it's just a boil burner. It's an old engine. Probably got been overheated, I bet, a few times. Still a great running motor. One of the best starting carbureted engines I've ever started in my life. And then it'll, yeah, it, it's weird. I'll actually shut it off now and keep it turned off I've been taking the keys out of it I don't lock it though so I'll just do a only keys I have for this truck too I'm gonna have to get another one made but, all right there you go well, I figure I will film hooking the tender and stuff back up excuse me Where is the other? There it is. It's hiding from me. That's why I couldn't see it. Just hook that there. Now it's maintaining. All right, let's close this hood. I fired up the 212 in a tiny bit. Oh yeah, I don't know if I told you guys, but this one quit running. See that amp gauge driving around Liberty Mills. And then I got on First Street, seeing that that was awfully, the needle was going that way. Seen smoke come out of it. Well, something was arcing out or something, but these wires right in here, my finger is, have melted. <clears throat> So that's another project for another day. I don't know when. <clears throat> but it's going to have to get done one of these days. So, Alright. Nothing wrong with the Craftsman. It's still doing just fine. It had a little, had a fuel issue when I got it running again. It was not wanting to get fuel up to it. And I eventually got it running by itself. Put gas in the carburetor and that made it run just fine. I haven't fired it up since that day I parked it. So... That one should still start up just fine. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. That one's not fixed. Bus hasn't ran in a bit. It's almost out of fuel. Alright. And all the other tractors are doing alright. Country Clippers I checked actually at the shop. So I'm going to do some service on it. 
and yeah, just get it ready to go because I might be trading it off for something else and if that does happen I will talk about it so but I won't spoil it right now because I have no idea if it's even happening yet but if it does I'll update you guys so I'll see you guys later